Yo fam, real quick, I just wanted to um, tell y'all about um, Hip Hop Squares. It's the same as like um, Martha Stewart and Snoop's dinner party. Like it's quite entertaining. They had some cool people on there. They had, um, who they had? They had um, Bobby Brown. They had um, Cardi B. They had Adrian from The Real. Um, they had Amber Rose, Ray J. They had Princess, T.I. There was a lot of different celebrities on there. It's just really fun and entertaining. Just wanted to give you guys um, my reaction to it. It's fun. I will be tuning in. Um, it passes the time. I feel like it gives like celebrities that normally wouldn't be on like shows like that wouldn't have the opportunity to be on there to be on there. It was pretty cool. They asked like um, simple questions and stuff like that. Like everybody knows the answer to it. It's like who has more kids, um, Flavor Flav or Kris Jenner? Flavor Flav, y'all already know that's the answer. So it's just about entertainment and just about seeing some of your favorite hip hop celebrities and stuff like that on there, all coming together and having a good time. So like I said, it runs like 30 minutes long, and um, it's fun. It's much better than the breaks coming on after loving hip hop because that shit, the breaks coming on after loving hip hop was almost making me not want to watch damn loving hip hop because it's like I don't want to see the breaks after that. You know, like if loving hip hop comes on, then. Love and, hip -hop, Love and Hip Hop will play again. Well, that shit with the breaks talking about is that everybody must see. No, the breaks is boring as fuck. But uh, the Hip Hop Squares is definitely fun and entertaining, y'all. It's really upbeat. Right after you watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, then you can get into right into uh, the Hip Hop Squares. And it's pretty fun for the night. So I just wanted to give y'all my take on it. Video fam, peace. Of course, it don't want to stop, right? Finna go to sleep. Night, y'all.